Maraming sitwasyon sa paligid natin ang mayroong involvement ng numbers arranged in a definite order or meron silang pinapalaw na structures or patterns such as the succession of minutes in an hour, after two hours, three hours, and so on and so forth. We can also consider the arrangement of shares in a cinema. And those are real-life application of a mathematical concept, which is sequence. Hi, this is Sir Jay, ang inyong maestro ng Sipnayan. And for today, I'm going to talk about sequence. So, magsimula na tayo. Ano nga ba ang sequence? Ang sequence ay ang pagkakasunod-sunod or succession ng mga bagay o mga bilang or numbers na may sinusunod na fixed pattern. Katulad nito. Makikita nyo sa set of shapes na ito kung mapapansin nyo meron siyang sinusunod na pattern. Pagkatapos ng bawat rectangle ay merong pagbabago sa bilang ng Chinese. From 1 naging 2 then three triangles. Ibig sabihin, ang kasunod na shape ay rectangle. And after the rectangle, magkakaroon ng tatlo, apat na triangles. So, madali lamang or mas madaling masasagutan ang sequence kung mauunawaan niya kung ano ang pattern na kasal sa sequence na ito. E paano kung ganito? Meron tayong sequence na 0, 4, 8, 12, 16. So, kung ating analyze ang sequence, from 0, then naging 4. Then, naging 8. From 8, naging 12. Then, from 12, naging 16. Kahanapin natin ang common or ang pattern para makuha ang next term. So, kung titignan natin, nag-add na 4. Bakit? 0 plus 4 is 4. 4 plus 4 is 8. 8 plus 4, you can get 12. 12 plus 4, you can get 16. Therefore, the next term of the 16 sequence, we're just going to add 4 para makuha yung kasunod. 16 plus 4 is 20. Ibig sabihin, ang nawawalang term ay 20. Tulad na lang sinabi ko, magiging madali ang paghanap ng term ng isang sequence kung i-analyze nyo at kukunin nyo kung ano ang pattern na ginamit sa sequence na ito. Ngayon, i-analyze natin ang given sequence. Ang tawag sa mga numbers na nasa sequence ay terms. 0 is a term of the sequence. The same as 4, 8, 12, 16, and 20. They are terms of the sequence. It just so happen na magkakaiba-iba lamang sila sa position dahil ang 0 ay ang naunang term, 4 ay ang pangalawang term, 8 ay ang pangatlong term, 12 ang pang-apat na term, 16 ang ikalimang term, and 20 is the ikaanim na term. We use subscript to designate the position of the terms. For example, we have 0. 0, we can designate that as a sub 1, y. 1 is used as the subscript to designate 0 because 0 is the first term of the sequence. So, the subscript tells the position of the term. Therefore, 4 4 can be designated as a sub 2 while 8 can designate that as a sub 3. 12 can designate 12 as a sub 4 since it is the fourth term. 16 is designated as a sub 5 since it is the fifth term. And we can designate a sub 20 as uh, we can designate 20 as a sub 6 since it is the sixth term. 
What if tinanong kayo, how are you going to designate the 16th term? So, to designate the 16th term, you can use a sub 16. Kung number of terms naman, or listing the number of terms ng sequence, we can categorize the sequence into two. That is finite and infinite sequence. Let us try to look at this example. As you can see, on this example, we have 0, 4, 8, 12, 16, and 20. On the other hand, we have 0, 4, 8, 12, 16, and 20. The ellipsis shows that the numbers is extended, so and so on and so forth. This example is a finite sequence. Why is it a finite sequence? Because when we say finite, it has a limited number of terms. Limitado, definite, or specific. Pwede mong bilangin. Tulad nito, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. We only have 6 terms in this given sequence. And one thing is, one more thing is that, when we say finite, it has first term and last term. In this given sequence, the first term is 0 and the last term is 20. While infinite sequence, we can say that a sequence is infinite kapag meron siyang first term pero walang last term. Meaning to say, it is endless. Walang limit and walang boundaries. Kasi nga, siya ay infinite. Okay. You have first term, but there is no last term, or you cannot find the last term. Now, hanapin natin ang kasunod na term ng sequence na ito. Meron tayong sequence na 9, 4, negative 1, negative 6, negative 11. So, makikita natin na ang number ay pababa. Ibig sabihin, hindi tayo nag-add. So, tayo ay nag-deduct. Ano kaya ang number kapag dinedak natin sa 9 ay 4 ang sagot? So that is 5. We deduct 5 or we subtract 5. 9 minus 5 is 4. While 4 minus 5, that is negative 1. Negative 1 minus 5, that is negative 6. Negative 6 minus negative 5 the answer is negative 11. Therefore, negative 11 minus 5, that is negative 16. Pwede rin naman natin gamitin ang addition. Just so happen na i-apply mo law of integers. 9 plus negative 5 is 4. 4 plus negative 5 is negative 1. The same thing goes with the other terms. Negat hanggang negative 11 plus negative 5 is negative 16. Kung saan kayo mas nadadali ang operation, yun ang gamitin nyo kasi mas magiging accurate ang sagot ninyo. How about this given sequence? Oh, meron tayo dyan 3, 9, 27, 8. Pataas ang number. Pwede kaya natin gamitin ang addition? Oh, let's try. What number kapag inad natin sa 3 ay ang sagot ay 9. So, 6 plus 6. 3 plus 6 is 9. Correct. How about this one? Is 9 plus 6 equal to 27? No. Definitely not. Kasi, 9 plus 6 ay equal sa 15. Ibig sabihin, hindi pwede ang plus 6. So, maghahanap tayo ng ibang pattern na applicable sa lahat. Na kapag Ginamit mo, magkakaroon ka ng sagot na 9, then 27, then 18. So, as you can see, pwede natin gamitin ang multiplication times 3. 3 times 3 is 9. 9 times 3 is 27. 27 times 3 is 81. And 81 times 3 is equal to 243. Pwede rin naman natin gamitin ang rule ng exponent. Kasi, 3 raised to 1, that is equal to 3. 3 raised to 2, equal siya sa 9. Bakit? 
3 times 3 is 9. Then, we have 3 raised to 3 is equal to 27. Kasi, 3 times 3 is equal to 3 raised to 3 rather is equal to 3 times 3 times 3. Then, 81, that is 3 raised to 4. So, it is equal to 81. Why? Because that is equal to 3 times 3 times 3 times 3. Therefore, the last one is 3 raised to 5. And 3 raised to 5 is equal to 243. Now, we have a given fraction set of fractions here. 1 half, 1 fourth, 1 six, 1 eight. So, what is the next number? What comes next? Kung makikita kapansin ninyo, walang nagbago sa numerator. Ibig sabihin, the numerator is still 1. Ang titignan na lang natin ay ang denominator since merong pagbabago sa denominator. From 2, naging 4. From 4, naging 6. From 6, naging 8. So, ano kaya ang common among them? So, basically, makikita nyo na nagkaroon ng addition or we added 2. 2 plus 2 is 4. 4 plus 2 is equal to 6. 6 plus 2 is 8 to get the next term. Therefore, to get the next term, we add 2 to 8. So, 8 plus 2 is 10. Therefore, the next term of the sequence is 1 tenth or 1 over 10. N Ngayon, dala ko tayo sa huling example. Ang example na ito ay kakaiba sa lahat ng example. Bakit? From 1, then the next term is also 1, then 2, then 3, then 5. So, makikita nyo, hindi tayo pwedeng gumamit ng addition. Hindi rin pwede ang multiplication and subtraction. Iisip tayo ng other pattern para makuha yung kasunod na term. So, titingnan natin. 1, 1, 2, so, if we are going to add the term to the previous term, the answer will be the next term. For example, 1 plus 1. So, 1 plus 1 is equal to 2. So, nakuha natin itong value na 2. Paano natin makuha yung 3? So, i-add natin yung 1 and yung 2. So, 1 plus 2 is equal to 3. So, nauha natin yung value na 3. Para din makuha yung 5. So, i-add natin yung 2 and 3. So, 2 plus 3 is equal to 5. Right? Nauha na natin yung 5. Para natin makuha yung So, 3 plus 5. 3 plus 5 is equal to 8. Oh. Diba? Therefore, para makuha natin yung sunod na term, we're going to add 8 and 13. 8 plus 13, that is equal to 20. Ibig sabihin, ang next term natin ay 21. Ngayon, titignan natin kung na nagtutunan kayo sa ating discuss. So, determine what comes next in the given sequence. Number 1, 15, 10, 14, 10, 13, 10. What comes next? Number 2, 3, 6, 12, 24, 48, 96. Then, 27, 30, 33, 36, 39. Number 4, 3A, 4B, 5C. And the last one, we have 1 half, 1 third, 1 fourth, 1 fifth, and 1 sixth. Try to answer this. So, I hope that you have learned something from me today. And dyan na nagtatapos ang video natin today. Kung may mga tanong kayo about sequence, feel free to write your questions sa comment section. Once again, this is Sir J, ang inyong maestro ng Sipnayan, na nag-iiwan ng katagang mag-aaral at matuto.